This is the Kourtney Kardashian of vegan mac and cheese, because <laughs> it's just fine. What's up everybody, it's your girl Merle, and today we're gonna to be doing a store-bought versus locally sourced vegan mac and cheese challenge. We have two different box mac and cheeses that we got at the store, and then I'm gonna make my own homemade vegan mac and cheese using almost all locally sourced ingredients. I decided to go vegan after I did a 30-day challenge. I was really surprised that it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. But I would never tell you you have to go 100% vegan. I think even just incorporating one vegan meal a week is a great way to change it up and possibly do something really good for the environment. So you might be asking yourself, how can going vegan actually help the environment? I'm gonna tell you. So when you're vegan, you don't eat any meat or any dairy. The meat and dairy industries contribute to 60% of agricultural greenhouse gas emissions. Just doing one vegan meal a week can have a positive impact on the environment. I'm gonna cook these up and I'm gonna hope that my homemade recipe wins. This one looks really delicious and creamy and I'm just hoping that I can replicate that and offer people something healthy and delicious. Let's do it! So first you're going to peel and chop the carrot. Another way that you can help the environment when you're making food for yourself is by picking the ugly food. About one third of all food in the world is wasted annually. And a part of that is because of the way it looks. People don't want to buy ugly food. But with just a little bit of work with a peeler, we can see really bright, delicious looking carrot underneath. Now you need to peel and cube the potatoes. Peel and quarter the onion. Okay, so now we're gonna add our vegetables to a large pot of boiling salted water. Cover and let those simmer for around 10 minutes until the potatoes are fork tender. Remove the boiled vegetables and save about one and a half cups of the cooking water. Then just blend that up until it's smooth. Okay, now you get to pour the sauce over your mac and cheese and stir that puppy up. You can serve immediately. All right, we've got our three vegan mac and cheeses all done right here. We've got one that has this classic kind of powdery cheese sauce, and then the second one we have here is more of the like deluxe, creamy, you know, squishy foil packet option. And then we've got our wonderful one, which has vegetables from the local farmer's market. I think they're gonna pick this one, but I don't wanna jinx myself, so who knows. Anyway, let's get people in here. Dry. It tastes like tuna helper. It's very light. It's very nice. This is the Kourtney Kardashian of vegan mac and cheese because it's just fine. It's fine. It's different. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh no! <laughs> this would be um, Kylie because she's trying really hard. This cheese is trying real hard to be cheese. It's good. That's a little more flavor. This one just tastes like kind of wet. There's no taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm not good at describing food. Wet isn't a bad thing. Hmm, who does not have taste? I guess Chloe. I would eat, I would eat a big portion of this. Mmm, delicious wet. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. Okay, great. Right. That wasn't good. That's terrible. If you had to pick one. <laughs> yeah, if you had to pick. Tina Helper. All That's right. not Tina Helper, but this one. I think that's my favorite. <gasps> Yay! That's the homemade Yay! one! Yay! Oh my god! These both are good, but... Oh, really? Yeah, because I like wetness. <laughs> like, I just... I... Come on. I am not even biased. Like, I truly have to say this one is... I think this is the best one. Maybe it's because I know it has a ton of locally sourced delicious ingredients in it, and I actually know what's in it, but it tastes good. I can practically hear you guys screaming at me, this is not mac and cheese. And I get it, you're right, there's no cheese in this. However, if you're looking for that savory, delicious, creamy filling dish that you know and love, and you just wanna cut back on dairy, or you don't eat dairy, or you can't eat dairy, this is perfect for you. Oh wait, it's vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means it's not real cheese. Yeah, there's no cheese in that. There's no dairy in any of these. And no pasta? No, <laughs> I know, I know. What 